with wrestling, we always knew that you were such a big fan. Like, that was never a secret. You always talked about that was, you know, a big love for you as a kid. When you actually got over there, did you expect to love it that much? No. No, not at all. We were planning on having a kid, and I was like, okay, what do we, like, what's the bucket list of things we need to like, do before we start trying to have a kid? And I was like, you know what? I always thought I would have been able to do something cool in the WWE. I mean, I don't have much time to like, become great at it, but I could do something for a few months. Little did I know, it like completely snowballed within a year. I mean, it's like going from like not knowing how to swim to winning the Olympics and swimming the next year. You know, like it was completely like thrown in the deep end, like immersion, but I absolutely fell in love with it and every single person there. And like, you know, I, I feel like I, I really found like a whole lot of like lifelong friends that I didn't even know were, were coming, you know? And um, it was something that I thought was gonna be a small detour and it just became my whole life for a year. And they say that no one really retires. <laughs> So well, we'll see. I'm just, you know, trying to do the baby thing right now. I'm yeah. playing it by ear. But I, I do miss a lot of, like, little things about it. Just me and the girls would have, like, little rituals and little things that you would do, like, like small comforts throughout the day, you know? Like, there were, like, little ways everyone would say, like, good luck or good job. And little, little things right. like that. But, yeah, it's, it's fun watching. I, I miss them, but I'm also happy to be resting. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need some rest. Healing up. I'm healing up. I, um, I pulled two pieces of glass out of my leg uh, the other day. <laughs> From what? On the lead up to WrestleMania, we had that backstage where we all oh, were we getting arrested. Yes. And I was kicking out the thing. So they were like, okay, you like kick out the window, but don't like kick out the window too hard because we're going to bring in the gimmick, like the, the, the glass window, like the sugar glass window. I'm like, okay, cool. So I kicked the window. Well, I guess I, uh, I dented the frame. So then they're like, we can't put in the sugar glass. And I was like, I'll break the real fucking window. And they're like, you don't have to break the window. I was like, I want to break this window. And then, uh, <laughs> so I kick out the window and I'm like, yeah, I kicked out the window. And I tried kicking out the frame and then my heel slipped and the glass went whoop up the back of my leg and I like pulled it in. And <laughs> that's when you hear me come like, don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> I was just like, ah. <laughs> and I'm like kicking the shit out of the thing. <laughs> And so I was like sitting at home and like pulling glass out and like throwing it with my other hand and like a cast and stuff, you know? And I was just like, wrestling's fake. Dang. <laughs> I'm like stressed out by that Wrestling story. Is so fake. But the reason why we can like keep going while I'm like, by the end of the year, I'm like dragging myself, you know, to the finish line. But you know, it's because we script everything that we can work around all these kind of things that in a fight would be the end of the world. Right. And so it's like, Stuff like this, I'm not like that bummed about it because you can kind of like work around everything. So it's like, it makes everything a lot less stressful in a way, but it also makes, forces me to endure more because yeah. I'm like, oh, it's not that serious of a situation. I could do WrestleMania 14 stitches in my leg, it's fine. Like, I'll take them out after. <laughs>